Hey guys, this is Chris Stevens again at Auction Bandits with another profit profile for you to check out. This one is the uh, Magma Marine Grill. It's intended for use on uh, boats. It's made out of stainless steel. It's made in the U.S. And you're going to see them around, so you might as well keep an eye out for them. Anyway. The Magma Company makes several different versions of their marine grill. They make uh, rectangular ones like the Catalina and the Monterey. And they make this one is called the party size. It's 17 inches and they make a smaller one that's 15 inches. And they all go for different prices. Uh, the size naturally has a bearing on the price, but also the condition is going to have a bearing on the price too. New ones obviously are, are going to sell for more th on eBay than used ones. Now, there's something else that will influence your uh, the, the amount of money you're, you're going to get for these things. This Magma Grill, I know the round ones, I'm not sure about the larger ones, but they come in two types. One is Propane, which is what this one is, and they also come in charcoal. And the ones that use charcoal are going to be worth substantially less than the ones that are designed for propane. And the best way to tell is it should have this critter here, right here with it. This is going to be your regulator valve for your propane tank. You gotta have one of these, or else it's probably going to be for charcoal. Now, this one is this one is new. The people bought it. God, there's so much freaking noise out here today. This is crazy. The people bought the thing. The, they were intending to use it on their boat, and then they sold their boat and moved. So they didn't need it anymore. So consequently, this thing is brand new. It's never been used. And they even bought some extras that normally don't come with it. And this is important, too. This is... The, what they call the fish rod mount. If you look at a fishing boat on the gunnels on the side you're gonna see holes that are designed to hold fish rods or actually poles that hold the fishing rods. This fits down into that hole and as you tighten it down it spreads this section apart and it actually wedges, wedges itself inside that hole and it holds the uh, the grill and these if you run across these just by themselves they sell for like fifty dollars on eBay and another thing that came with this one is the land mount in other words this is intended for use let's say you're out boating you decide you want to go and uh, take it on the beach this you can mount it on that and you can use it out, actually out on, out on land or here if you wanted to and that's an extra purchase too. So these people bought extras and that's important to keep in mind when it comes to these magma grills because they don't come with anything. You get the grill and if you want extras you buy them. And they also went and they bought this. This is a cover for the grill and it's five year sunbrella guarantee. It's kind of unusual because it also and this is important here to note also. You'll a lot of times you'll go up to a sale and you'll see something sitting in a bag like this. And it's gonna be the grill. Because people inevitably store it in this bag. And most people don't even bother to look inside that bag. But it says magma marine cuisine right there on it. Now, here's something else I want to mention to you. Some of these things were had been stored and had gotten wet. And stainless steel, believe it or not, will rust. It doesn't rust as much as regular steel does, but it will rust. And the best thing that I found for getting rid of rust on steel is a product called Snowball. That's right, same stuff you use in the commodes. And you can use it to remove rust on stainless steel. The, there was some light rust 
and there you see there's a little bit more on there still but this thing was covered in a light coating of rust and it just takes it off beautifully however you have to be careful because snowball has hydrochloric acid in it I dripped some unfortunately on the cover here and that's what it did to it so you want to be careful where the stuff goes this won't really matter that much because the people most likely will not care there's just so much stuff here for the people who want to buy this that they won't be worried about that but let's see if I forgot anything to tell you this comes with the instructions and uh, a little booklet apparently has uh, yeah, it has all kinds of stuff in there now this got wet as I was telling you before apparently this whole thing got wet and it got a little bit stuck together here's the uh, the fish rod holder I was talking about these are uh, they go on a boat so they're going to be expensive that's a good thing to keep in mind pretty much everything that is intended to go on a boat costs a lot of money this grill is unused and that's beautiful if it had been used that would have affected the price and the fact that it's a 17 inch grill as opposed to the normal 15 inch is good also so this is really nice it's a 17 inch grill and it comes with the extras and it's unused and uh, here's something else I want to mention to you when I went to buy this I went up to the sale and naturally they had everything crammed into that blue bag there and I pulled it out and I was looking at the stuff and I said how much is the grill make me an offer now you're gonna hear this a lot and uh, I'm not really sure what these people are after but the bottom line here is that everybody knows how much they want for their stuff if you don't believe me offer them a dollar Let's see what they do you, you won't make any friends that way so normally what I do is I'll if it's something like this I'll say ten bucks and uh, and see what they do oh no 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 well you see they know how much they want for their stuff so then when they say no I say uh, well you know I don't know this is your stuff you tell me I can't sell it and buy it and uh, that way you can usually get a price out of them but this was ended up being a uh, $30 and uh, it should uh, sell on eBay for maybe 250 bucks or so the fish rod mount and the land mount are going to be extras and that's going to pump up the price a little bit so uh, there you have it another completely unscripted auction bandits profit opportunity thanks for